Hey guys, so today it's gonna be a little bit different video which you've probably already read in the description but in the title but today I tried to dupe the Chicago palette by Nomad Cosmetics with my single shades or like my magnetic shades from other uh, from different palettes to see if I would like that color story and if I would get some kind of uses out of that color story so I think I'm gonna show you two looks in this video or at least I'm planning to do two looks maybe I'll decide to do three um, and I'm kind of gonna let you know what I think about this color story and if I could see myself buying the actual palette. So hopefully you will enjoy that. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Sasha. I love indie makeup, I love colorful makeup, I love eyeshadows, I love everything about that. And especially like really fun, different formulas and just kind of innovative makeup. And I decided to get my Legend of Korra palette uh, from Colourpop because it's the same amount of shades, it has the same amount of shades that, as the Chicago palette. And here is what I came up with. So I have, uh, let me actually see, this is a Colourpop shade, it's from the Pokemon palette, I will try to find how it's called. Uh, then this one is also Colourpop and I think it's also from the Pokemon palette, this green is my deep body shade from the alter ego palette by glam shop this brown is from shelby makeup the wolfa palette the deepest shade then this is from the paleo palette by cleonat this is a single shade from uh, mika beauty shop and this one is called toxic it's a beautiful pink to green dual chrome multi chrome with hollow in it then this purple is the glitter shade from the pokemon palette this is Terra Moon's Serpents. I wanted to use Star Sign, but when I was uh, looking at the all the pictures from the Chicago palette, in some of the lightings it looked like blue to purple, so that's why I picked the, the Star Sign shade. But then in other lighting, there was also a lot of green in there, so I decided to use Serpents because it has a green base but blue shine and like blue sparkle in there. Then the kind of the most neutrally. Uh, shimmer which is supposed to be like a brown red to orange I think at least from what I've gathered uh, on the website I used this shade by Shroud Cosmetics it's from the Hollow Bean palette and it's the top center shade uh, which is kind of like a orange to red rusty kind of shade with a little bit of brown and then the lightest shimmer this one is called Haron it's from Terra Moons it has a white base and it has kind of like a green yellow goldy uh, sparkle in it which i feel like fits what was supposed to be in the uh, nomad palette and then this row was really hard like the reason for me why i wanted to dupe this is because i don't really wear neutral but i was really interested with the in the shimmer shades from nomad because the shimmer row looks gorgeous but for me i usually like mattes from nomad more than shimmers so I needed to figure out if I even would like the mattes because I know that the shimmers probably are gonna be slightly worse than the mattes. Usually that's how it is with Nomad, not that I hate their shimmer shades, but I just usually prefer their mattes over their shimmers, even though shimmers are the love of my life. So I kind of wanted to see if I even can work with the mattes and since the mattes are either neutral or, gray, uh, or gray in that palette and the only fun one is the green, which in my case is a lot more bright in the actual palette it's a bit more pistachio like lighter shade but i don't really wear neutrals and i don't really wear gray mattes so this was really hard for me and it was really hard for me to even find singles or deep potted shades of those categories because i really don't have them i don't buy palettes with these shades most of the time it can either be it can only be if there's like only one or two shades like these so it was really hard for me to get even somewhat close to the color story but i feel like we actually managed to get there somehow uh this gray shade it's from the mist witch palette by shelby makeup this uh is from this actual palette but i think it's either the shade pearl bender or mover star i think it's the mover star so i just uh, put it in a different spot then this is from the mist witch palette as well it's the kind of satin black then this shade is from I think the shade is also from Pokemon palette by Colourpop and this one is also Colourpop but I think this is from the Tinkerbell palette. So 
I'm gonna definitely show you swatches and close-ups of this color story. I think I did quite a good job, like I swatched so many of my palettes and so many of my single shades to find as close of shades as possible, so you know, I really tried. And today I really want to use these four mattes and then probably these three shimmers because like this color story really really speaks to me, that's my favorite part of the color story. Well, I love these two shimmers, or like the shimmers that are supposed to be here in the Nomad palette. But this is what intrigued me in the actual palette. And tomorrow we're gonna play with the cooler tones, which I don't really wear cooler mattes all that often, and especially not in like gray or dopey, dopey uh, color range. So this is gonna be interesting for me, but if I'm gonna like the looks that I create with this, I will think about buying the Chicago palette probably in some kind of sale like Black Friday or something since it's already kind of late for me to review it and get some kind of views out of that so I'll probably buy it later on. Honestly, I would be really interested in using like these these three in the middle and then this shit as well like I feel like that would be a really fun color story too. But today we're gonna start with this shade. Uh, to kind of get the crease ready, I have my Beauty Bay eyeshadow primer on. And we're just gonna start the crease and I'm gonna focus this mostly on the outer part of the crease to just kind of like have something there. Usually these for me are just starter shades to help me blend the other shades over and since there's a lot of Colourpop shades, I feel like for them it's better to use some kind of like neutral pretty much your skin tone type of shade to almost like set the primer and then use the rest because I feel like the blending is a lot easier. I mean sometimes, especially when it's like blues or something, I just go straight in with the shade that I want to use, but sometimes I feel like it helps to use these shades in there. Now I'm gonna use this from Cleonat. I think this shade that I picked is a bit more orangey than in the actual palette, but it was still like very warm mid-tone brown. So yeah, I feel like on top of the previous shade, it's might it might look a little bit more like what that's what it's actually supposed to be like. Like it kind of looked in the palette. I feel like it is kind of like a yellowish brown, or you know, it has a similar vibe. It's just that this one is very orange. But you know, I. It was so hard for me to find neutrals in my collection, like I really don't have them. And I don't really buy... I always say in a like makeup news or in these types of videos that I wouldn't mind buying a palette that has matte neutrals and then fun shimmers, but realistically if a palette has neutrals in the matte department, I still will choose a palette with colorful mattes and then the fun shimmers. So like. I always say that I wouldn't mind that, but realistically, I never actually grab palettes like that. I don't know what's wrong with me. I like I don't hate the idea of a uh, neutral crease and then like super fun shimmers, but I just I don't know. In the end, I always tend to get the colorful matte as well and just be a full look. I'm a I'm a peacock. That's what I am. I am not ashamed of saying that, you know, freedom to all the peacocks and I just love my colors and I can't really live without them, honestly. Okay, now I need to use the green. I know that mine isn't the correct shade of green, but it's just really hard to be precise with these things, like it's not easy to find the exact same shades, especially like I don't have that many um single shades and most of them are shimmers and the only mattes are pretty much either from my Colourpop palette or uh from the Depotted Alter Ego palette by Glam Shop and that is very rainbowy palette. I have this unearthly magnetic palette which is full of shades. Now there's also the shades from the palettes that I kind of stolen uh the shades from so I have the entire Legend of Korra here as well. Uh, and I hope I'm gonna be able to put it back together. But yeah, otherwise most of the matte shades here are from the Alter Ego palette. And then I have maybe like three Glam Shop matte shades that are just like regularly sold as matte shades. 
and the rest is for my magnetic palette so yeah I'm gonna take the green because I just really need that one and I'm gonna take like a backing brush and I'm gonna put that in the inner part of the crease and I really want to like by the way the the body chase film alter ego they're really fragile um i would definitely recommend buying from glam shop their regular singles not trying to depot them because like i've already pressed them so many times but they're so soft that they just like to they just like to get shattered and i have to press them a lot or like repress them a lot but this looks so pretty the green with the with the warm crease and I know that the brown that I have here would be like lighter and I know that the green would be lighter too so like it would be a little bit more muted than one I have but I still think it would look nice I'm kind of doing almost like if it's cut crease even though it's really not and then on a smaller brush, by the way, I'm using mostly the singe brushes and I need to get new ones as well, like I want to get a bigger collection of them. I'm gonna use this deep brown, which I think I actually was uh, able to get that pretty spot on. And as I said, this is from the Wolfa palette by Shelly Makeup. I actually haven't used that palette all that much, so it's nice to at least use like a shade or two, even in this... Um, even in this palette, like it's just nice to get some uses out of them. And I feel like this looks so pretty, like I kind of really like these really deep chocolatey browns with really vibrant um, green shades. I do actually really like a combination like that and I have used a combination like that quite, quite a lot. Even with the Merry Christmas palette by Uden's Eye, like I would wear that a lot last year with like the super kind of pistachio green there like I feel like that would be a really nice match but I don't have that shade anymore because I used that up so I wouldn't be able to like I was thinking about using that shade pressing it into a magnetic round pan and use it here but I don't have that shade anymore like I've used it up and the little bit that was there uh, ended up in my nail polishes because you know it wasn't the best formula anymore it was kind of getting old so I'm gonna do the same thing on the lower lash line and then I'll come back with the shimmer shades by the way I'm so sorry if the swatches and the close-ups look a bit gray or kind of you know weird but it's really gray outside and like overcast and like everything looks very desaturated i hope tomorrow it's gonna be better and i might be able to get better footage but i don't know if that's gonna happen so in case i used the bad footage i just didn't have uh, any other option so now i'm using the kind of rusty shade and i actually don't use this one a lot in the Hello Bean palette, I even took it out and replaced it with another shade, I think. Or maybe it was... Or maybe it was the orange shade. I'm not completely sure, but I know that either the orange shade from the Hello Bean palette or this one I replaced with a different shimmer, probably from the Alter Ego palette, because they're not as sparkly and they're not as pretty, in my opinion. And maybe it's their age, but I don't think I was that insanely in love with them, even when they first appeared in my collection like compared to Uden's Eye or other um, other brands it's just not really that cool in my opinion uh, I like the shimmers in the Moonfall palette a lot more but I haven't really used that color story all that much either and always had to use different palettes with it uh, so I ended up decluttering that but yeah I need to keep the Halloween palette because I just can't live without that packaging. Now I'm gonna use the shade Serpents, so this mid, uh, middle shade. And like, I really want the shimmers from this collection. I don't know why they stopped selling single shades, because like they used to do that with the Hudson Valley palette and the uh, Royal Europe and stuff. I love this one. Um, they used to sell singles from those collections as well and I 
haven't seen them do that with the previous couple collections uh, with the latest couple collections I don't know why like I don't know if it wasn't really sought after but a lot of the times I would like certain shades from their color stories but I wouldn't want the whole palette because they're not cheap they're not the most expensive but they're definitely not cheap sorry I had something in my eye and they um and a lot of the times there's a lot of neutrals there and I just don't wear those but like if I could get the shimmers as singles I would buy them and I wouldn't need a whole big palette I kind of also like expected the colors to be slightly more colorful because the packaging is a lot more colorful than the inside but I think the inside is still really pretty I just I also don't know if it's because of the background because the palette has like a deeper background and I feel like it makes the shimmers and even the mattes some of them look a lot better than they might be in real life so I tried to based off of swatches of that palette um get to this color story and obviously I have like lighter background here so to see if maybe that also is a factor to consider because sometimes it is and sometimes like if you would take out if you would deep out all the shades they wouldn't actually be that interesting that interesting now i'm taking the shade Charon, so it's the lightest shimmer i feel like i got this one pretty well like it's quite i think it looks really similar at least from the swatches that i saw maybe from nomad it's a little bit more white but you know like obviously i can't get that i wish i had more from theramons these like iridescent white based ones because they're so gorgeous and i want at least like 11 of them <laughs> so yeah i don't know how much how many they did and i don't know from what collection it is but i definitely need more of them yeah i think i'm gonna deepen up the outer corner with the deep brown again to just kind of really make that pop and i'll just put on some mascara and stuff and i'll be right back but i kind of like this look like yes it's neutral a lot more neutral than i normally go for but i don't know the thing is i don't know if i like this palette because of the pop of green matte there because i think that is so pretty and i really don't know if that's the only reason why i like that color story that's why I can't wait to try tomorrow the more like grayish part of this palette to see if I would actually like that. But this look is amazing, like I do really like it, so yeah, so far so good. Okay, so here is the final look with my, uh, with my duped palette. I actually love this look, like yes, it's pretty neutral and not what I usually wear, but I don't know, like it's pretty. It's actually really pretty. Um, so yeah, I obviously use the shades that I showed you from this palette. Tomorrow we're gonna do more of like the cool tones, um, like the grays, and then with the purpley, pinkish um, shimmers. Then on the rest of my face, so I use this green eyeliner from Solmane, uh It's the Solmane eyeliner from Odin's Eye. I have my Rimmel Kind and Free Concealer, my Thrill Seeker Mascara by um, Rimmel, and this is the waterproof version one. Then as a blush, I have the NYX Buttermelt blush in the shade Sooner the Butter. I have my uh, Essence Baby God Bronze Bronzer in the shade 10 Cinnamon Spice. Highlighter is from Electrum Cosmetics, it's the Daydreamer. And I'm wearing the shade Manifest, this kind of like greenish one, uh, because I just felt like it. And I actually did my lips today. I love this uh, this color story. I think it's really fun. I did to use my e.l.f. I don't remember how these are called, but like this e.l.f. I think it's like lip stain or something. And it's in the shade uh, Cinnamon Dreams. And I used my um, Wet n Wild pencil. This is the like lip liner and it's in the shade Chestnut. It's beautiful, beautiful. It's kind of like reddish brown, but I think it looks really nice. It doesn't completely, like, it's not the same color as the e.l.f. product. Um, 
but when they bl blend together it's just so nice and just like so pretty and yeah we look very bronzy and i don't know i really like this look so um so far i'm very happy with all of these um shades and even though it's definitely a lot more neutral i still think it's really pretty and so far i really like this color story so we'll see tomorrow but i am i'm actually surprised at how good this is so yeah i might actually get that palette like what do you think what what are your opinions on the uh, nomad chicago palette anyways okay so here we are for the second look with my custom made palette and we're gonna focus on the like cooler side I haven't used this whole row, these two shimmers and then this shade. So that's a little bit complicated for me. But I think, I think, I think we're gonna start with this shade, which is from the Mist Witch palette by Shelly Makeup. And I'm just gonna start the crease with this. And I don't know why I just tried to use this palette as a mirror when I know that Colourpop, um, Colourpop's palettes don't have mirrors, like these cardboard ones. So, let me just kind of go and... And I really like this because this one looks very grey in the palette, but on the eyes, for me, it usually looks kind of like dusty lavender, you know, like it definitely has grey in it, but I can see kind of like pinkish lavenderish tone there so that's kind of a nice thing about that and I'm just gonna start the crease with this and I know that I should probably do three looks because like obviously it's a 15 pan but i don't really like i'm not gonna have time tomorrow probably before work and i have a lot of new palettes like the beauty bay palette and stuff like that to kind of release and i want to get some uses out of my halloween palette so maybe i'll get back to this later in november like uh, in the beginning of november maybe but i don't know that for sure Now I think I'm gonna take a smaller brush, I'm using the same brushes by the way. And now I'm gonna take this shade which is from the Pokemon palette by Colourpop. And it has a little bit of sparkle in it but honestly on the eyes it doesn't really look that way anyways. And it's kind of like a lighter version of this with a little bit more cooler base. So I'm gonna use that in the inner part. And I did prime my lids with the Beauty Bay eyeshadow primer that I'm almost out of. Like, I had to squeeze really hard today to get it off, to get it out. I'm also going to use this under the brows because, like, first of all, it has that little bit of sparkle in there. And also, I just want to, like, really highlight that area. And I quite like this shade for that. I usually don't really wear these cool toned shades all that much, but like, I like brighter cool tones, you know. Not really a fan of like dusty, um, dusty cool tones. Now I'm gonna take this, which I think it's called, it's called the Mover Star from this palette actually. And I'm just gonna go into the inner corner, sorry, the outer corner kind of just like deepen it out there this is very great crease but which i don't even know if i've ever really done like a gray crease that might be the first time for me i did like smoky black looks but not really this i think so you know it's nice to like kind of try to use new palettes or even dupe some palettes to just kind of give yourself a little bit more of a, I don't know, like 
make yourself uh, be more creative sometimes. Now I'm gonna take a liner brush, like a um, this type of thing, and I'm gonna use the black kind of shimmery shade from the Mistwitch palette. This is the darkest shade from that palette, and this one is a little bit like I don't know, slightly jelly. Well, not jelly, but like it's definitely wetter than the rest of my eyeshadows, like the matte one. And we're gonna create a wing. To be able to use this shade. And this is a really nice wing. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a really nice wing and now I have to make it the same on the other eye, which is never, never easy. I always really hate it and I still do um, hate the fact that my eyes are hooded and both of my eyes and both of my eyes are hooded in a different way. So it's just like really hard to make, first of all, any straight lines, but also just like make both of the eyes look similar. So I always do something really nice on one eye but then it doesn't translate on the other eye. Maybe. Uh, now I'm gonna take a smaller brush, something that I can use on the lower lash line. And I think I'm gonna use the two matte shades that I haven't used just to like, you know, use them. So first this shade, this is from the Pokemon, Pokemon palette and it's one of the shades, I think it's kind of like uh, towards the bottom row in the kind of like yellow part of the palette if i remember that correctly so i'm just gonna use this under my eyes in the outer half and the other shades which i'm pretty certain is from the tinkerbell palette by colourpop in the other half of the lower lash line kind of brighten it there and kind of color correct because this one is actually kind of close to my natural like flesh color it's just slightly more like pinkish i guess it's quite close to my natural color uh like flesh color and i think it kind of helps to cover up the darkness under my eyes now for shimmers so I don't know which one I want to use. I think I'm gonna use this one, which is Toxic by Makeup Beauty Shop. I'm kind of gonna use it all over the lid, and then I'm gonna just add sparkles from the other purple shade because that one is a glitter. It's ColourPop glitter, so it's not as like abrasive, and it's not really. It doesn't really feel all that much like glitter, but I still want to make sure that this is gonna be kind of contained. So. Let me use my NYX Glitter Primer that I always do. And now, so first Toxic. I love this shade, by the way. It's such a gorgeous shade and I love the like holochrominess of it. So kind of all over the lid. I don't know, this one is just so pretty and like I could watch this all the time. And it is pretty like neutral. Um shade like it definitely doesn't feel and look super duper like bright or anything but it still looks really pretty and now i'm taking on my um finger i'm taking the glitter from colourpop and i'm kind of putting that towards the middle and outer part of this i guess I guess that's what my hands are doing, I don't know. And we'll see how that's gonna look like. It's just gonna bring like a little bit of purpliness into the look. So something like this in the corner. Kind of how the 
Haron is gonna look like. I kind of really want to do the Haron. Maybe should I do Serpent? Let me kind of test it out a little. No, Serpent is too dark and too green for this, I think. So we're gonna do the inner corner of the Haron again. And I'm using my pinky because why not? Okay, so this is the final look. I'm actually really happy with this. Like, it's not something that I normally wear. But it's pretty. Like, it's very, very pretty. Very cute. Um, I feel... I feel really nice. Like, it's probably not a look that I would do very often. But... Yeah, like, it's really nice. It's really cute. It's really sweet and i feel like this would be a really nice look for like new year's eve or something like that like in winter i feel like this would be really perfect like with that cool tones and those really nice sparkles so we used every single shade in this duped palette and i don't know what i should think because i liked both of the looks and i thought they were really cute they were not my style but they were cute and I'm kind of tempted because I really want to know how the shimmers look like, like the actual shimmers from the, the Nomad palette. So yeah, I feel like that could be really, I feel like that could be really cute. But when it comes to this duped palette, I think I'm gonna buy it. If there's gonna be some kind of sale or some kind of, you know, either um, Black Friday or end of the year sale or something, I think I'm gonna get this because it is... The color story is really nice and it feels some like something that I could use for the days that I'm just not really having much time and I just want to do something that's like very basic and pretty or one of those days that I actually want to use something neutral. I could have something that's kind of like interesting neutral, I guess, without like being... And it's I like that it's kind of cool tone. I usually don't really wear cool tones, but I would like to have the option and I like that there isn't really like toppy shades because I don't really like toppy shades like it's just eh so I'm glad that it isn't really like that here and I don't think the original palette is either but yeah let me know what you think about my creation and let me know if you um if you bought the original palette or if you can dupe it with your collection obviously like if I actually looked through all of my palettes not just the magnetic ones I would probably find all of these shades well I don't really have the grays, honestly. I don't think I have grays outside of the Mistwitch palette. Maybe, maybe in the Merry, no, Christmas Eve palette by Uden's Eye, but they kind of pull really blue, honestly. And the deeper gray is kind of like purplish. So maybe not. I don't really know if I would be able to dupe it with my regular palettes that are non-magnetic. But anyways, let me know what you thought about this video, let me know if you liked any of these looks, and I'll be super happy to see you in my next video. So, bye!